In recent days, language processing AI models like ChatGPT have become a heated topic on the internet. I have personally with great amusement tried them out for fun, and even attempted to use it for a professional task. They can, today, already produce texts of above average quality within many styles and fields. From just mimicking a famous author or stereotypical style to actually describing, solving, and summarizing most topics and questions you ask the AI. Do you want a technical manual of a dishwasher, but in the style of Shakespeare? No problem. Do you need help in creating a nice poem or birthday card rhyme? No problem. The results vary from complete failures to brilliant. Some of this has to do with the limitations of what the AI knows, some of it has to do with apparent bugs. But simply has to do with how clever you are when you use the prompt. And what your knowledge is on the field. The more you know about the field and the better you are at writing a prompt, the better the result will become. Like with any tool much has to do with the limitations of the user and not the tool itself. That said, a tool like ChatGPT has limitations. It isn't connected to search engines, so its data is both limited and possibly outdated. Colleagues in the copywriting world have mixed feelings about this. Many are in denial of the problem. Some realize that at least some aspects are going to change rapidly. The era of generic sales texts on a company's webpage is probably coming to a rapid end. It's already been a nasty development. There were actual good results from a search engine on what brand of dishwasher is best in 2022, or a good service technician living near my hometown are basically fruitless searches these days. Content writing, the thing I do for a living, is surely coming to an end. I have mixed feelings about this. It is my livelihood, but I am also like everyone else, someone who searches for information on the internet, and curses the lack of good results. But the real use of these new AIS, and possibly in a really scary and good way might already be here. Last night I tried another language processing AI called Accenture, that actually is connected to the internet's two main search engines, Google and Bing, and the results are in my opinion mind-boggling. This AI really can give you more answers to questions and unlike ChatGPT it can to some extent give you actual sources. Both in the printed result as a classical reference list and a separate list of links used on the internet. It obviously needs some tweaking still and seems to have a more limited language AI than ChatGPT, but the implications of what this can be used for and misused for are obvious. Imagine a student getting tasked with doing a home assignment. Summarize and analyze the Cold War in 1000 words and list the sources you used. No problem. You can even ask it to input complex thoughts and comparisons. So unless the teacher knows how a student writes already, the door for misuse is literally completely open. And if we talk about higher levels of learning, where more detailed and complex references in the text is needed, this will probably come in later editions of the AI as it improves. So schools and universities are in for a massive paradigm shift. And it happened overnight. The good part of the language model AI searching Google for you is that you can easily train it to look for reliable sources that are much more difficult to manipulate through SEO and such things. You want a quick and reliable answer to a question? You will probably get it without the hassle of looking through multiple pages and having to have a degree in searching the internet. And for most people, this will be enough. It's December of 2022 now. Depending on when you listen to this, things might have changed dramatically, or not much at all. Because even if a new technology exists, that in many ways is superior to the old ones, this doesn't necessarily mean it instantly takes over. All kinds of things could happen. Like Google blocking AIS to prevent them from using their results, to law stopping this, to even smarter solutions arriving. That's the thing about the future, no matter how good you speculate, you will still miss the obvious things. Personally I had a bad feeling about computer-generated texts when I first encountered them four years ago. Back then they were much more limited, and I could simply dismiss them with the age-old argument that nothing beats human creativity and all the things this leads to. These days, after seeing the rise of Image AIS during the fall of 2022 and their rapid development and now the text AIS, already quite impressive, I know better. I know that I as a communicator and creator simply have to adapt to survive. The text AIS are still very tricky to use to get the best results from them. I think the role of text creators of the future, at least the foreseeable future, is to become a text whisperer of sorts. Someone who knows not only to talk to the AI in the best way but to also be a good judge of the quality of the results it produces. 
it still takes knowledge and experience to know the difference between a good and bad text after all. Full disclosure. This text you've listened to was written by me, but the actual voice comes from a voice AI generator and the music is also generated by an AI.